Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike, KB2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Dennis from Benino sent me a Mega Loop, the ML200. Thank you very much, Dennis. I have everything set up now. I'm using a, I believe that's a four foot piece of wood on the top into a PVC T going into a 10 foot uh, piece of wood going down. I have it in a triangle configuration. I just finished installing it. This is not going to be the permanent installation. This is temporary for now. We're going to try it out tonight. Tonight the mighty KBC comes on. We have Voice of Greece is going to come on, Radio Romania. I have it pointed northeast at 25 degrees like I had the W6 LVP loop, but we're going to put this ML200 Mega Loop, the mighty Mega Loop, through its paces tonight. And again, thank you Dennis from Benito for sending this to me. I don't know what else to say. I'm just really excited to try this out and I'll let you guys know. Sorry about that car. I'll let you guys know how I make out with it and uh, its performance. I know how the W6 LVP uh, performs in weak conditions and weak propagation and weak everything. So let's put this one through its paces. All right, guys. See you soon. 7th rate. All right. Here's part two of the Benito uh, Mega Loop. So as you can see, it's the ML200. We have an inverted V, which I believe they call a inverted V delta configuration. So what I'm doing now is I'm using TeamViewer into the office with the iPad, and I'm going to peek it for voice of grease. So this way I can optimize this receive. So I'll see you guys on the inside with some signals. 73. All right, we have the Mega Loop hooked up. Let me shut down SDR Uno. I'm going to relaunch it. And let's see how the bands are. I don't believe the bands are all that great right now. Propagation is dismal at best. Let's have a CSV userless browser in here. So this way I can ID the stations. And we'll take a spin around the dial. Right now, I disconnected the W6 LVP loop. I'm using the ML200, the Mega Loop. And so far, I think, well, I'm going to be honest with you. Not because I got this antenna from Dennis. If, if it didn't work out for me, it was going right back to him. And there wouldn't be a video about it because there's no reason for me to make a video about it if it didn't perform for me. It would be pretty much pointless. But I'm fortunately going to say that the W6 LVP loop is going to be staying in the garage or it's going to be uh, put up for sale. And it's nothing against the loop. It's nothing. It's... I, I want an antenna that's going to work best for me in my location and for what I want to listen to. And the price range, the W6 LVP loop and the Mega Loop is not much of a, a difference in price. But if I'm getting a performance increase for a slight increase in price, that's what I want. And this channel is not about, you know, politics of radios and uh, products and accessories and nickel and diming. I just want to give you guys the right information of what works best for me. I don't know what everybody's budget is or financial situation is, but if you're looking for a loop that is configurable in a design that you can manipulate, meaning you can do all sorts of things with the with the uh, the element that they provide, it's almost I believe it's lince wire or speaker. It looks like speaker wire, but it's not speaker wire. You can there's so many customizations, so many things you can do with it. But let me let me stop babbling. I know I have a habit of doing that. And let's just launch SDR Uno and see how it performs. Now, right off the bat, I did realize that my noise floor is much lower. I believe it's 10 or 15 dB lower with signals giving me a higher SNR versus the loop that I had previously. So stations that I would pick up previously were weak. I could pick them up, but they were a little bit buried in the noise, just a, just a tad. I don't have the W6 LVP loop uh, hooked up anymore, and it's, it's in the garage, but I know what I like to listen to. I know what, what stations I check daily, and I know how that antenna performs because I've been, using it out, I've been using it outdoors for about a month, but let's just take a look. Let's turn the gain all the way down. Let's put on the medium wave loop let's mute this for a second let's increase the gain let's move this out of the way and let's see what we're listening to okay so this looks like uh doo -doo -doo -doo, new york radio and let's see how it comes in coming up. 
there. That's that's a tremendous difference. And it's only five in the afternoon. Alpha 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 And half the time I could only pick up the air traffic controller. I couldn't hear the, the pilots. Now I know that the planes could be anywhere along their route that they fly in, but I rarely picked up the pilot conversations. Miami Delta 722 Delta 722 New York. Delta 722 Boris uh, 2108 Let's check all of them. Terms. I believe Gander should be up. And right off the bat, the noise floor it's at a it's at negative at some points negative 15 negative 120 well no that's that's skewing it a little bit it's negative 115 negative 117 118 i believe the w6 lvp loop was in between negative 100 and negative 110 so there's a, a noise floor difference there and it's nice and linear linear meaning it's not all over the place i'm, I'm not getting humps here it's it's Seems really well. All right, let's see what we can pick up. Uh, let's go for vomits. A little bit early for Shannon and Gander. Maybe higher up. Broadcast. Let's see if uh, voice agrees. Let's see how they're coming in. At five o'clock Eastern Standard. Not bad for voice agrees. Well, tonight will really, tonight will really be the test. For voice of Greece, and I believe uh, Mighty KBC is on. I know how they used to hit me. Uh, they would, if conditions were good, they would they would pound me at uh, 30 dB plus 30 dB over S9 with a 40 40 dB SNR. Let's see what else is going on. Let's, uh, let's see. Alfredo Lopez. And let's get the map up. All right, this looks like China Radio International transmitting out of China. Let's just double check that. Yeah, that, that's coming out of China. And I'm just about resolving audio here. And here's my location. Here's a transmitter location. That's just amazing because before I couldn't even resolve audio, I would get a, a head, a little peak in the carrier. Never was I able to resolve audio from China Radio International transmitting from the, looks like, uh, western part of China.
It's really weak. Let's see if they're simulcasting. No. That's local, that's Cuba. Let's go a little higher up. able to resolve audio with using the W6 LBP loop. And like I said, this is not a, uh, a video to knock that antenna. The antenna is fantastic, but let's mute this. The ML200, the Mega Loop, it's right now from what I'm seeing, if uh, anyone is looking for a secondhand W6 LVP loop, uh, get in touch with me because I have one that I'm going to be selling. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, let's see if UVB76 is up. It's a little early for them. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. As I said before, the ML200 Mega Loop for me is the antenna of choice for me now. Dennis, thank you again. I'll be in touch with you. I'm going to be purchasing this loop for my shortwave listening. This, this antenna is phenomenal. Two thumbs up from me. All right, guys, 73. I'll see you in the next one.